if you are joining me for the first time please remember to click subscription button and hit that notification bell to be the first person to receive the video that will be produced by devtech media devtech media updating you devtech media subscribe to devtech media Zambia is this year going to the polls and the people are on the move looking for political parties that can deliver according to their expectations. Former Senanga District Commissioner Vivian Mubukwan, who recently resigned from his position, has joined the Opposition United Party for National Development, UPND, with his followers. Madam Vice President, I'll bore you a bit by telling you to say, it's my time of resigning. I was afforded a new vehicle which I got from Osaka and rose and drove in that particular vehicle, having been at the highest level of district administration. But the comfort of that office was not my calling. My comfort was to see alleviation of poverty. This country is faced with intergenerational poverty, which we need to nip in the bud. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, the current government does not seem to be alive to the fact that whatever money comes is accounted for to assist our local people in terms of fighting the poverty they are faced with. Child marriages are growing on a daily basis. It is unfortunate that maybe these are vices that are not well pronounced, but it is happening in our rural areas primarily because of poverty. I have visited villages, Madam Vice President, where I have interacted with senior citizens there who tell you why they would prefer to have a girl child. Why? Because they want to marry her off and attain some cattle. But is that how we are now going to live? Where a person is now enslaved to selling off? Because that is basically selling. When we have huge projects in the Western province, we are administering the climate change project, which is a multi-million dollar project. But I can assure you, Madam Vice President, there is nothing to show for. There is nothing. People are still wallowing in poverty. But that money, Madam Vice President, shamely is being given to the selected colleagues that are connected in the party. That is not what we want as a nation. We are talking of the Kashu Infrastructure Project, which is a multi-million project. Kashu is a high-ending crop in this country. But shamely, there is nothing. We have given money, huge amounts, to the Indian company to go and pretend that they are going to work on alleviating poverty for the people of Western province. That is painful. But today, these people that are out there in the villages are denied the opportunities to have a good life. Why? Because of the government we have in place. They are not alive. Western province, Madam Vice President, I can assure you, I have been there for the last six years. I served in Mrovesi as district commissioner. I served in Senanga as district commissioner, the longest serving district commissioner. And on a daily basis, I raised my points. And whenever I was told to say, you are doing the wrong thing, I told them, fire me. I'm ready to go. I am not here to sit permanently. Because what I want is to make sure that whatever resources this country borrows should trickle down to the people. But they have not trickled down to the people. Madam Vice President, I would love to go on and on. I will be able to take over the show, but I shouldn't do that because you equally have to speak. But I would love the media. I'm calling upon the media to bring out the necessary wrongs that are out there, the poverty levels that are out there. 
Western Province, I'm told, as the Vice President, is now a house that is open to the Patriotic Front. Be assured, those are lights. Yeah. Those are lights. I never attended any single by elections. I never caused any by-election in Senanga because it was pointless to abuse resources. The 12 kg millimeter bags you are seeing are what they feel is bringing in people. The people are not there. The civil servant, I am standing here today alone, but I am not alone. There are so many people, Madam Vice President, the Acting SG, the Chairman, that are sitting there, civil servants. I can even count for you to say the entire Western province, there is only less than 50 that are comfortable with the Patriotic Front government. Yeah. The entire workforce in the province, be it teachers, be it nurses, be it Officers from agriculture, they are supporting. The other day I was driving here in Lusaka. My primary goal is to make sure that President Hakaine Itilema and the entire team that he will have to write to run as members of parliament, as council chairpersons, as uh, councillors, should go through. I stopped over where I found these police officers and I told them, come here. The greeting I gave him was Zambia. He put his hand in my ear and said, what? <laughs> this is a police officer. And this is what is happening. And therefore, I don't understand how naive people can be to say we are performing well. Our economy is standing at 22.2% inflation. Our economy, the dollar rate is at 22 patch, at 2 patcher. It's actually 22,000, is it 22,000 patcher? That is wrong. We should change this country because we need economic managers. And President Hagaide is one such man that can do that. Vice President, you come from the teaching background, I will bother you. I am a pest, I am in trouble. I will make sure you should make education a priority. There is no way this nation will make good if we don't look at the teachers. We need to respect the teachers. We need to prioritize. Yes, everything else is important, but the teacher is the one that makes us understand health issues, understand uh, agricultural issues, and any other issues. Without a teacher, we are doomed. Allow me to say, I am here, Madam Chairperson, to make sure that whatever iota of the patriotic front that existed in Western Province was, I am ready to hit the ground. I must mention here in 2008, I'm sure there were headlines, screaming headlines. Western province was all patriotic front in 2008, and the headlines were screaming, coming from me. When people thought, say, Sata is a madman, I took the patriotic front more into Western province. Everybody was scared. And I am going back to, to make sure that the UPND Everything. United Party for National Development Vice President Mutadena Lumango received the defectors at the party secretariat in Lusaka. Mr. Mabokoi, this is the right home. This is the right place. You have, uh, you have indicated that indeed you have been in patriotic front and you have worked hard, that you have seen no fruit. I think this is what I conclude from what you have said. And therefore you have made the right decision to come to the right party with the right manager.
President Tadahiro Hitler to drive Zambia forward. You are most welcome. You are most welcome. We welcome you wholeheartedly. We are welcoming even others. I know that we are supposed to have uh, another colleague who is just caught up in traffic. He will come here. But not the only one. There are many, many well-meaning Zambians yes. that are ready to come. You shall hear. And it will not be non entities. It is people like it, Mr. Mogokwan. Speaking at the same event, United Party for National Development Western Province Chairman Mr. Kapel Wambangweta bemoaned the lack of development in Western Province. People of Western Province pay taxes just like other citizens in this country and it's all those taxes which are supposed to be used for development. But in the case of Western Province, this government from 2011 have turned their back on Western Province. If you go and see the roads in our area, the Sakamon Road, Lukuru Katunda, Kasempa Kaoma, uh, Sesheke Livingston, Sioma, Shangom, all those roads have been neglected. If you go to our palaces, I was in Yonjoro the other week, it's very difficult to get there. This week, I was in Ukena. It's very difficult to get there. And it's equally difficult to get to Zulunga. Uh, the palaces in our area are all in bad shape. In the clinics, there are no medicines. The schools have no feeding program. Because of the rains in a number of areas, a lot of damage has been caused to the schools, to houses, and everything. But we don't see anyone from DMMU. On the contrary, we have only seen people giving 50 budgets and 20 budgets, which is not sustainable. And it's on that basis that a number of uh, our colleagues from their citizens have decided to come and join us. Meanwhile, UPND Lusaka Province Chairman Ovia Smualiteta assured the vendors of security. These people, they can't see the vendors where they are suffering in the street. Why did they take that money and start empowering those vendors? Vendors, no one will chase you from those streets until the economy stabilizes. As it is now, you and us, we are all suffering together. And you leave it like that until things are right in this country. Until you start buying a bag of milk with the dead water. Madam Vice President, Acting SD, uh, I want to assure you, sir, Madam, that the, uh, the PF members, those who are genuine, those who are innocent, they will start crossing over coming to us. I know. If you are joining me for the first time, please remember to click subscription button and hit that notification bell to be the first person to receive the video that will be produced by DevTech Media. DevTech Media, updating you. DevTech Media, subscribe to DevTech Media. DevTech Media, subscribe to DevTech Media. DevTech Media, subscribe to DevTech Media. DevTech Media, subscribe to DevTech Media.